Hey everybody, welcome out to another episode of Bald Up Genetics. My name is Lloyd, and if you like ball pythons, then this episode is for you. Okay, everybody, so this whole episode is just going to be a quick uh, update on the 2021 breeding season for ball pythons. Uh, we'll go over um, a little bit of what's happening right now um, and some of the, the things that I'm looking forward to for this, this season. Now, last season, you know, it was supposed to be a, a good season. There's a lot of people on YouTube that said they've had a great 2020. You know, they sold all these babies, everything. Well... We, we 2020 wasn't a great season for us. We had a lot of females that didn't go. The You're always looking at down the line. You're looking at the next season, the season after that, five seasons from now, and that's what we were doing. Uh, this year, from this year on to the next few years, we're actually going to be, there's a lot of females that are, are becoming of age to where they can start rotating into the breeding project. Uh, we have a lot of great projects coming up. Uh, in this in the next few seasons this season alone we have some things that for us here are pretty exciting uh, we have some hets that we have to prove out uh, we have some combinations that are going to be interesting to see what what comes out of it especially with the odds on producing them uh, hopefully all our females will go this year i have a few right now that their their egg follicle growth isn't quite where I, where it would like to see it where I would like to see it um, but the rest of them we're having a late season we should have already had eggs but uh, we haven't had anything show up yet but there are a few females that have already had their their prelay shed uh, they're getting ready to go it's just a matter of time I think everything is gonna be pushed back a couple of months um, than from what we expected it to to start out at uh, you know there's there's a lot of people in the industry they say you know when it comes to certain ball python projects, you should really focus on one, two, maybe three projects. You know, I, I don't listen to any of that. I wanna do what I wanna do. You know, it's like our, our motto is, we make what we want and we sell the rest. But for us, there are a, you know, we, we have more than really three projects going on. We're, we're really uh, recessive heavy over here. Uh, you know, I have some Desert Ghost stuff going on, uh, Genetic Stripe, Ultramol, of course, Pied and Clown. I have some other projects, you know, like special going on, um, working all of these different combinations. So the future is going to look really, really interesting here at Bald Up Genetics in the next few years, especially with combining all these, these combinations. Uh, this year, for uh, a lot of our females, uh, we're looking at proving out some stuff. I'm looking at proving out some clowns. Some het clowns. So head is heterozygous. It means it's carrying that gene, but it's not a visual looking animal. So I'm proving out some some het clowns, uh, some het pies. I have a double het uh, albino pied that I want to try and prove out. I also have a banana male, and I've talked about this in another video. I have a banana male that he has another gene floating around in him. Just his look. And the pattern and the color he has is just, it's a little different. So I'm trying to see what is floating around in his DNA. So hopefully we can see what's going on with that this year with the female that I put him with. Um, we also have uh, some Het Desert Ghost stuff that I'm making. Uh, there's a couple uh, combinations with, with the male that I have. Um, I want to make some Hets for the long-term uh, projects down the line. Uh, same with Ultra Male. Um, I have some head stuff with ultra mills that, that I'm going to be proving out, uh, pretty soon also. Uh, so let's turn this camera around. So as you can see, I've, uh, changed, I'm trying a different labeling. Uh, just try something different. Always trying different things, seeing what works, what doesn't work. So I've, I started putting all these magnetic labels on now. Um, and so you'll see some of that difference, um, Started with, with this rack, uh, pretty soon I'll go with the other one and then the other racks that we have. Uh, but I just wanted to see how it would work. So, of course, pink for the girls, blue for the boys. I know it's a cliche, but, but that's what I'm trying right now. So, 
This year, we're trying to prove this one out. Uh, she's Het Lavender Albino. Uh, I'm trying to make some Dream Sickles. Uh, I think Dream Sickles are pretty cool looking, especially when you start mixing in like Yellow Belly, um, Orange Dream, Ultra Mole, stuff like that. So uh, this is the year to try and see uh, if she is 100% Het Lavender Albino. We have a Genetic Stripe. The, this is just a normal Genetic Stripe. But I've put her with a combination male genetic stripe, and we'll see what comes out of that. Uh, uh, I'm putting the male um, Desert Ghost to her to make some hets. Um, she's just a you know regular pastel, but she's a very nice looking female. Um, so I'm gonna make some uh, combination uh, het Desert Ghost with her this year. You can see she's pretty thick right in here. So she's getting ready. She's always produced a good amount of eggs for me. Um, and I can tell by her size that she's getting ready. Uh, she's already had her shed, so and she's starting to nest back, back here. As soon as she pushes a little bit more of that away, she's gone off a of feed, so I know she's getting pretty close. So this is the male uh, Pastel Inchi Desert Ghost that I'm using this year. Um, he's going to be one of the main... Desert Ghost Breeders um, in in our projects that we move forward with. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, I put him with a couple of females this year. He's he's uh, locked up with them. So we'll just see how it goes with those females. Uh, what they how many eggs they have, what they produce. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool looking male. Uh, I really do like Desert Ghost and what it can do. Especially, especially in other combinations. So uh, we'll see what he uh, fathers in the future. Uh, this is my um, Killer Blast female. Uh, this year I put um, a Orange Dream Fire male to her. So we'll see some of the combinations that come out with that. There should be some pretty cool looking stuff. Uh, she's getting real close too. I can tell again by how I can tell again by how thick she is. She's already had her, her prelay shed. You can see how she's moved the the uh, cocoa off to the side, so she's making that nest right there. Uh, so she should be pretty close to laying eggs also. My female. Mojave Het Pied, she's starting to uh, also nest. She's starting to stay in the back. She's going off of food. Um, I put her with a banana Het Pied. So uh, yes, it's Het to Het. So the odds increase because of that. But I want to you know, see about getting some banana, banana Pieds out of it. Uh, regular Pieds. Uh, and then everything else will be Het for uh, Piebald. Um, but again, she's good by just looking at her by the size, by knowing her, her behaviors, knowing her past breeding season. Uh, I know she's getting close to also uh, producing some eggs pretty soon. So this is my go-to uh, female albino. I've put a lot of different combinations to her before in the past. She's produced a lot of eggs. Uh, she just did her pre lay shed right there. So in about 30 days, um, We'll see uh, how many eggs she produces. Um, this year, I just put her with another pastel champagne het albino, uh, and we'll see. And we'll see if we get some uh, pastel albino champagnes out of her. And then uh, next year, I've got plans for uh, some other non-champagne combinations to go with her. But yeah, she's a, she's a really great female. She handles really well. Uh, she does. She produces some very large eggs, and uh, all her babies always hatch out without any problems. Here is so this is my fem one of my female uh, lemon blasts. I put a banana cinnamon head genetic stripe to her, so we should get some interesting combinations. Uh, lemon blast is a uh, pastel and pinstripe. So there should be some interesting combinations with all of those put together. But as you can see, she's nesting. Uh, again, she's already had her prelay shed. She's scraped away the cocoa. She's sitting over here on the hot spot. 
she's swollen up pretty good. Now it's just a matter, again, a matter of time. I have a lot of females here that are, are on the cusp of laying. So there might be a time when uh, all of a sudden I, we walk in and there's, there's a bunch of clutches in here. And uh, we'll go over all that stuff too. We'll go over, uh, you know, pulling eggs, techniques on pulling eggs setting them up in the nest in their egg boxes and then uh, once they start to hatch uh, we'll go through all that routine also but it is turning out to be an interesting season again I only have a few females that I I don't know if their follicle size is going to be there yet um, but we'll just keep we'll keep checking them out seeing what's going on again if you haven't noticed this is my main Large female breeder rack. I do have some breeders over here too in the smaller racks. Uh, but these are the main ones I want to focus on this year. That's usually what I'll do is I'll move them over into this. And these are the ones that I want to try different combinations with. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting season. All right, everybody. So that was just a little glimpse into the 2021 breeding season. Uh, we'll keep updating you as we go, especially when we get eggs. We'll go through all that whole thing about setting them up for incubation. Uh, when it gets time for them to hatch out, we'll start showing you all that too. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so every time we upload a video, you'll be informed. And of course, if you can share these videos on your other social media platforms, it'll help this channel grow even more. So until next time, take care, and we'll see you again real soon. Uh, <coughs> uh, we will show you... Uh, I'm getting choked out. Uh.